Welcome to my YouTube channel. I um, am a painter. Art of Kuzma is my website. And uh, I wanted to thank you for tuning in. I wanted to do a little uh, uh, little talk on uh, adding uh, some calligraphy or uh, tonal line drawing. Uh, in this case, I have a very fresh looking watercolor. I'm very happy with the watercolor itself. And um, because of how bright and fresh it is, I was just inspired to look at the use of uh, line. Um, often in painting, um, I, I, just the topic I wanted to talk about and how uh, just a little bit of... Uh, uh, contrast and well fresh this is a painting that's fresh to begin with so uh, a little bit of uh, delineation um, could only in improve um, its graphic and uh, and uh, and what oftentimes uh, in, in calligraphy uh, if you look at Eastern calligraphy which is China or Tibet um, the Far East has painted this way, um, children begin painting this way, uh, with calligraphy, uh, tonal drawings, uh, usually one tone or a warm and cool tone, and often they're depicting landscapes, um, different scenes, uh, and the children learn uh, a language for uh, delineating uh, with the use of calligraphy. So um, I'm a contemporary painter myself, and um, so there are so many aspects of painting um, and uh, the graphic or drawing is an important part of, uh, of an image. And uh, in, in the East, as, as I said, there, the artist would actually uh, paint, uh, have great focus on on, on calligraphy. It's almost the kinesthetic energy or the energy of the whole painting is built from a good drawing. So and anyway, in this stage, I'm, I'm just embellishing um, some of my work. These are far scenes and I'm um, just using uh, a brush. Uh, there's all kinds of brushes to use. One can even use a, a, a paper towel uh, to, uh, to find textures or to uh, blend in color. Um, in fact, I can show how that could be done quite easily. Just bear with me a second. Sorry for the camera rocking over the place. Um, so here you can see, you know, you can actually blend some of this, um, this foliage here. So uh, I'm just going to do this little demonstration. Also, the importance of how... Uh, the contrast of a calligraphy, calligraphy or tonal or dark um, as often used uh, in, in painting. Um, here the color is supporting, but also it's a strong part of the image itself. So uh, again, just some, some touches here, existing work, just to have that, uh, that uh, it just takes it to another level. Uh, it's kind of funny. I was thinking about this. Um, I had lost a lot in a hurricane, and as a result, the uh, Jackson Pollock Foundation was helping artists. And uh, I had, uh, oh my gosh, an entire mural that took a year to paint, uh, painted over. Um, store was destroyed. It was just this whole tragedy. So it was kind of funny um, uh, that the director called me of the Jackson Pollock Foundation and he said, are you sitting down? So I said, yeah, I'll be sitting down. And I'll tell you, it was like a, an angel. An angel just worked through. Uh, it, was, it was just so incredible. And he understood my situation and um, the dignity I needed to restore uh, from this loss. And... Um, he said, don't go back and fix that mural because I was um, 
it wasn't really treated well by the, the people there. Um, I designed, a, did a lot of design work for their building and changed managers. And anyway, so that's a whole, whole other video, YouTube I can do on, on how artists can be uh, mistreated and how they need to protect themselves. Uh, so anyway, uh, the, the funny part of this whole story is that uh, I'm now painting. Um, uh, so I did get the award. Uh, that was the, the great news. But I'm painting right now and using a kind of a Pollock approach. Uh, so it's it, it, it's interesting how um, uh, we evolve, you know, and we don't know what's around the corner or where our growth is. And um, sometimes uh, to have a, a, a delineated line, um, these are willow trees here, uh, and and I tend to be high key and and, and somewhat muted. And uh, this is a good way for any artist to uh, have a bolder uh, approach to um, uh, their drawing. Is to use uh, here. I'm using kind of an uh, in. I'm using actually a stain uh, as a medium with um, uh, some oils mixed into it, oil paint mixed into it. I think I have Prussian blue and and a, and a warm, so you have a warm and a cool going. Um, yeah, so th this is uh, this is the theme I wanted to cover today. Um, it's a little bit um, again. I wanted to apologize for the camera. I just was inspired to get this. Uh, right out there uh, this information because uh, there may be artists who are looking for uh, uh, You know sometimes they just say oh that uh, this is something that I, I, I could I could benefit from in my own drawing and and uh, I'd like to uh, incorporate that so each one of these videos will will go through a uh, a, a topic um, uh, That I have uh, found a value during my career and uh, life as an artist and journey, artistic journey. So again, thank you for tuning in. Again, um, Steve Kuzma, Art of Kuzma is my, my channel. Um, and today I was uh, covering the topic of um, using a uh, calligraphic drawing uh, to support color or your painting and, um, and, and using the freshness of that drawing. Uh, also, I'm at the Arts Garage in Atlantic City, and uh, and I have a studio, um, and you're welcome to ask any questions or subscribe below, or visit uh, the website again, Art of Kuzma. Happy painting!